this theme, why Christ died, it ought to be for our proclamation. You know, in the last 20 years, there's been a big emphasis on that the Ten Commandments are the thing we ought, that's the tool, that's the message we ought to use in evangelism. But what do you see? You see, the Lord used it once, at least, maybe twice, like Mark was bringing out. But what do you see that the Lord used? What was his message? It was things like, you must be born again. It was things like, except you become like little children. It was things like, if you don't give up everything and follow me, you can't be my disciple. It was things like, if anyone will come after me, he must deny himself. Take up his cross daily and follow me. But Paul, what did you preach? Well, he says right down here in verse 16, He set me apart, he called me and revealed his Son in me, so that I might preach him. Yeah. Paul, what did you, that's what you preached to the Galatians, but what about, uh, what did you preach to the Philippians? I preach the, the believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. What did you preach to the Athenians? I preach that God has fixed a day in which he'll judge the world in righteousness to the man that he's appointed, Jesus Christ, having furnished proof to all men and that he raised him from the dead. Amen. What did you preach to the Corinthians? I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. What did you preach to the Ephesians? The unsearchable riches of Christ. Paul, how would you sum up your message? In min your message? He says, repentance toward God and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Paul, what did you preach at Caesarea? I told Felix. I told him about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, and faith in Jesus Christ. What is the summary of our great commission? Repentance and remission of sins in his name among all nations. Can you put up with another blade illustration? <laughs> the next neighbor I went to, I, <clears throat> I got to the head of his driveway and I thought, you know, I better call that fella before I just go up there and plow his lane out. I got him on the cell phone and I said, I'm down here at the head of your lane with a tractor and a blade and I'll just go up and back and plow your snow out. Unless you tell me no. And he said, oh, I believe we're all right, just where we're at. And that was it. I went back home. And you have to feel, you know, a little bit of insult. I mean, there I was, really unable to help him, and he says no. And if we feel that way toward things here on earth, what do you think that the Heavenly Father feels. What do you think that God feels? Everything, He's done everything, everything is ready, the door is open yes. to provide for your supreme problem and deal with your sin and take you to a place called heaven and give you eternal life right here and now. And you're going to say no? You're going to say, I'm doing all right, I'm pretty well where I want to be? May it never be. Come on. Yeah. Repent. Yes. Leave your sin behind. All sin, all known sin, leave it all behind. Let goods and kindred go this mortal yeah. life also. Amen. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I believe that I am a sinner and I deserve to go to hell. I have no reason that you should take me to heaven. But I believe that you died for sinners just like me. I believe you died to pay my sin debt. I do believe, I will believe, that Jesus died for me. Plus nothing. That was a Galatian error. It was Jesus plus. And the gospel is Jesus only.